Hi everybody, this is uh, Jost Stein from YourDino.com and today we are going to upgrade a uh, Superflow 901. So this uh, unit is still running the old uh, 286 uh, uh, PC, old, uh, old old PC, still running, still working. But uh, they are ready for uh, an upgrade of the instrumentation. So keep watching and you'll see the process. So here is the console, still operating. And uh, the old uh, PC here is, uh, is running and uh, there's a four cylinder Volvo engine in here ready to be tested with the new system uh, as, we, as we get it uh, installed here today. So we start here by dismantling the, the, serv the, the valve. We're going to change the servo on it. Um, so, uh, so that's the first step. Here you see the, the Superflow electronics, looks uh, like it is from the 80s or something. So it's all uh, good, good to be updated now, good, good time for an update. The brake looks to be in excellent condition. And um, yeah, let's go. So the valve is out. Uh, we're gonna replace the servo motor with the Yordino motor. So. Uh, so we get it under control from your dyno. Okay, the valve is in good shape and it's now converted to use the your dyno servo motor, ready to be installed under here. All right. So we made a small uh, box uh, here, a cabinet for the controller. Put the your dyno controller here, the servo uh, controller and the power supply. And then we routed the cables uh, in here. You see, for example, the, uh, here is the RPM sensor. This uh, setup here has a Hall effect sensor uh, mounted here. Uh, that's not original, but uh, if you use the original sensor, that's okay too. That's a VR sensor. You would then route it uh, to, to this input instead. Otherwise, it's the same. We have the connection to between the, the your dyno box and the control, server controller. Uh, here is the connection to the weather station that we just placed over here. This is pretty close to the engine. And uh, down here is the connection to the load cell. And uh, again, it's the original load cell from Superflow that we're using. Here we have connected some of the, uh, of the thermocouples so that we can use you know, the original thermocouples like that. So this is the back side of the Superflow uh, cabin controller. And man, that's a lot of stuff, right? Imagine if something goes wrong here, how do you find out what it is? It's funny to see how little uh, this is replaced by. It's just the stuff you saw in the in the small cabinet with the Yordino box and the servo controller. The rest is uh, just done in a PC. So this is going to be vastly simpler than what it was before. So the load cell is uh, in here. It's the original load cell that we have uh, hooked up. And we are going to do a calibration with this uh, calibration arm uh, that we have uh, here. So first we'll do a zero calibration. We are calibrating, putting uh, all the load on top of the, of the calibration arm. And we'll go for the load calibrate. All right. We are good to go that looks stable okay good and we have uh, tested with uh, a number of different uh, loads to check the linearity and everything is good so calibration is fine all right guys the engine is running uh, it's uh, ready to go we're gonna do a sweep from uh, 3000 to 7000 all right let's go Okay, we're gonna do another run, this time with the PID uh, set up. So uh, the PID is set up uh, like this with a power sweep, 3000 to 6800, 600 RPM per second. 
and uh, we ramp up to 70% brake and just watch how quickly it locks into the, the start RPM here uh, of uh, 3000 watch when we start it up here now okay let's go I'm gonna try a little bit slower. All right, we are finished. The install is done. And we have done all the test runs with both load control and uh, PID control. I think we ended up with a very clean and good uh, install. A lot less cables and less boards and uh, old PC is gone. The 901 has uh, received a much needed update uh, with the Yordiner Ultimate. Ready to go with new adventures. Thanks for watching.